Game Takedown. Game Takedown is a scary story. But a young girl receives a strange gift on her birthday. On the morning of her birthday, Lucy's mother woke her up and took a package, a package a ride in the mail. It was dressed to her. The girl hurried unwrapped wrapped and was horrified to what she found inside it was the most disgusting old doll she'd ever seen. Completely bold, its skin was cracked and caked in dirt. The worst thing of all was its teeth. They were long, pointy, sharp and beastly. It looked like an animal's fangs. A shiver, she took the doll and threw it into a corner. Her mother scolded her, telling her that someone had gone to a lot of trouble to send this antique doll. Her mother told her she better appreciate it. Lucy tried to protest, but her mother would only would not listen. She forced the young girl to keep the doll, so that put her mind at rest. Lucy stuffed the antique doll to a little cupboard under the stairs behind a pile of shoes, where she wouldn't have to look at the ugly. Leave a little thing. It was not until a few nights later that Lucy was lying in bed and she had heard a noise, a shuffling sound, which went on for five five minutes. Then a brief dragging noise, a fire scuttling like light, footsteps walking very fast. If by now Lucy was shaking up her bed, full of fear, unable to move, and she heard a faint, grassy voice whispering quietly from downstairs. Lucy always slept with the door open, a landing light on. She was a little scared of the dark. She heard a voice say, Lucy, I'm on the first step, and loud scoping, grabbling about, as if whatever was speaking apparently turned tail and turned to its height of hiding. Lucy was so scared she didn't sleep a wink that night. She sighed in fear until she broke a dawn. When her mother got out, up for, got her up for school, Lucy tried to explain to her mother what happened the night before. I was so tired that her mother passed it off just as a dream. She didn't believe it might be the case. Of course it wasn't Lucy again to her parents. Let us throw the antique doll in the garbage. But he insisted it was a present. She had to keep it. So Lucy reluctantly went back to bed, telling of it herself it had only been a dream. She checked the cupboard under the stairs, but Lucy was not the, was the, but the doll was exactly where Lucy had left her. That night Lucy found a sleep, which eventually drifted off. So she didn't fall asleep. Presently, the deep disembodied voice woke again. Lucy again. She wondered what it could. If she could only hear it in her head. Lucy, I am on the fourth step. It said, and came much shuffling noise and voice. You occur that night. Lucy's crying by now. Again, she didn't sleep that night. At school, Lucy told her friends about the doll, and of course they laughed at her. Lucy could only think of the doll was climbing four steps at a time. with only one night to go. That night, Lucy decided to shut her bedroom door. When her mother turned off the light, she asked why Lucy was longer scared of the dark. Lucy replied she could not leave her light on, and said, of the whole light, but her mother pointed out that her bedroom light was so bright, it might keep her awake, and said no. Therefore Lucy agreed to just sleep without a light. She opened the door of room curtain, bedroom curtains, and instead of light room for a little while, as she began to doze, she heard the noise. The voice came very clear this time. Lucy, I am on the first step. In the darkness of a room, Lucy heard a click and trembled with fear. She wasn't sure, but she thought she could see a bedroom door opening very, very slowly. Next morning, Lucy's parents found her body at the bottom of the stairs. They guessed she must have been on her way to the toilet during the night, night and darkness and slipped and fallen down the stairs, breaking her neck. The antique doll was found beside her body and buried Lucy. Everyone said what a tragedy it was, so she loved that doll, said her mother. Now they can be together forever.